everyone. Good morning, ma'am. It's us, Group 5, and for today's lesson, we will be discussing about the Vygotsky's sociocultural theory of development. Lee Vygotsky is a Russian psychologist, developed a theory of cognitive development, known as a sociocultural theory of cognitive development. Now, his approach to child development is a form of social constructivism. Based on the idea that cognitive functions are the products of social interactions. The main assertion of the Vygotsky's theory is that the cognitive development of children is advanced through social interaction with other people. Okay, we should always remember that social interaction, it plays an important role in cognitive development to the children because through social interaction, the children will be able to learn new things to adapt in the environment uh, that will enable them to mold themselves, to enforce their young minds and to grow. Four major themes in his uh, theory, and these are the role of social interaction in cognitive development, more knowledgeable others, zone of proximal development, and scaffolding. Role of social interaction in cognitive development. Language plays a vital role in mental development. Language itself becomes a very powerful tool of intellectual adaptation. Lev Vygotsky theorized that children's cognitive development is explicitly related to language and social interactions. Children learn how to use language and experience the world as a member of their specific culture. Social interactions plays an, an important role in people's life starting from the early childhood as infants interact with their caregivers and build the emotional attachments that is based for future relationships. By social interaction with other children, it learns how to communicate, play, and behave in particular situations. Knowing the influence of social interaction and child development in the first few years, the, the easy is going to elaborate upon the implication of social interaction on the development of cognition. Cognitive development stems in social interactions from guided learning with the zone of proximal development as children and their, and their partner co-construct co knowledge. For, for Vygotsky, the environment in which children grow up will influence how they think and what they think about. To promote your child's cognitive development, it is important that you actively engage in quality interaction on a daily basis. Uh, like for example, talking with your baby and naming commonly used objects, letting your baby explore toys and move about, uh, exposing your toddler to, uh, to books and puzzles, expanding on your child's interest in specific learning activities. For example, your toddler might show an early interest in dinosaurs, so you can take him or her on a trip to the Natural History Museum to learn more about the, to, to learn more about the time that these creatures roamed the earth. Answering your child's why questions. Another way that you can foster your child's cognitive development is to provide him or her with choices and prompt him or her to make thoughtful decisions. You should also allow your child to explore different ways of solving problems. While you may want to provide some gentle guidance and encouragement, allow your child some to figure out things like a new puzzle. This may require some patience on your part, but it will ultimately help him or her to learn. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Hanya Iskindama sir, and my assigned topic is about the more knowledgeable others. More knowledgeable others. Vygotsky's social cultural theory emphasizes that children learn through social interaction that include collaborative and cooperative dialogue with someone who is more skilled in tasks they are trying to learn. So this means that through interacting, children will learn and gain some knowledge to his or her interlocutor. More knowledgeable others or MKO. The more knowledgeable others is somewhat self-explanatory. When you say self-explanatory, it means it is easy to understand without needing any extra information or explanation. So in other words, the more knowledgeable other, it refers to a person who has a knowledge or skills we don't have. 
So for example is it can be a parent or teacher but also it could be a child's peer. A child's peer means are those they admire and consider to play an important role in their life. In fact, MKO need not to be a person at all. Computer or any electronic device can be also considered as MKO. So, let's proceed to Zone of Proximal Development. Um, according to Vygotsky, theory of cognitive development, children who are in the zone of proximal development for a particular task can al almost perform the task independently, but not quite there yet. So, ZPD or Zone of Proximal Development has three layers, which is what I can do, what I can do with help, and what I can do. <clears throat> The zone of proximal development refers to the difference between what a learner can do without help and what he or she can achieve with guidance and encouragement from a skillful partner or a teacher. Thus, a term proximal refers to those skills that the learner is close to mastery. Skills too difficult for a child to master in his or her own but can be done with guidance and encouragement from a knowledgeable person. So lastly would be scaffolding, it refers to the temporary support given to a child by a more knowledgeable other that enables the child to perform a task until such time that the child can perform the, this task independently. So this is the... So scaffolding defines the role of a teacher or an that is more knowledgeable of this kind of which is the example this is which to ride a bicycle but she cannot do it by her own um kasi di niya alam kung paano ito i, i persecute so ito naman yung elder siya yung nag scaffold or nag nag guide sa bata kung paano ito i, i ride or i persecute so ayun lang po <coughs>